Planning a wedding is stressful enough, but what if you felt your partner was doing everything they could to flip things upside down? On today's case, Ms. Howard says that instead of preparing to throw her bouquet, her fiance's actions have her ready to throw in the towel. Multiple change wedding dates, extra cakes, and suspicious photos with other women have almost convinced Ms. Howard that it might be time to say I don't. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Howard versus Staten. Thank you very much, Ms. Howard, Mr. Staten. Ms. Howard, in four days, you are set to walk down the aisle and marry Mr. Staten. You say you can no longer ignore the red flags and want to see if you can resolve them before making a life-altering mistake. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Staten, you say Ms. Howard is being unreasonable and calling off the wedding is not an option. You claim you will prove to her that her allegations are unmerited. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Now, this does not make any sense. Y'all are supposed to be at your houses getting it together for this wedding that's supposed to take place in four days. Why are we here today, Ms. Howard? Judge Starr, we are here today because I have to end my relationship with Aunt Lee Staten. He claims that he wants to be married. He claims that he wants to have a wonderful union and marriage with me, but it isn't true. He is going around. He is outrageous. He is flirtatious. All Antley really wants is to put on for his family and friends a great big show. And in the truth of it is, there is no dough. And that is why I feel that Antley has got to go. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Staten, we are talking about a wedding that's supposed to take place in four days. What say you, sir? The fact that I'm here today, Honor, it scares me. I'm so close to this date that I've been waiting for for 48 years. And to hit, have, to have Ms. Howard have me here, I, I'm, I'm really scared, Your Honor. Oh, Lord, it sounds like this is about to be three many things. Take me back, Ms. Howard. How did y'all meet and how the heck did we get here today? Judge Starr, we met on an online dating app for Black Americans. It was during the pandemic, so we talked on the phone. I mean, the first night that I actually spoke to Aunt Lee, we talked from 9 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. He is a talker. He's an extrovert. He's funny. He is cute. He's corny. A and he is a Christian. We had so many things in common. And it seemed like all of our hopes and dreams really coordinated. And I felt like he was truly a gift from God. And I'm, let me just turn on over to Mr. Staten. Your Honor, I did meet her online. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was going over, you know, the profile, I mean, she was like God sent me, like, we, we shared the same characteristics. And I knew that from the moment, that first day, I knew she was the one. Okay, so now this sounds too perfect. Ms. Howard, you moved in anticipation of a wedding, is that correct? He really started talking about getting married right away. And what has... He has always been rushing this to a certain extent, but... At the same time, I'm Aunt Lee's biggest fan. So I have... Well, what's I, going on with this wedding date? I don't understand. He has changed the date four times, Your Honor. So every time we're putting down deposits and losing money, at first we were going to wait until 2024. Then this thing happened, that thing happened. Okay, we're, now we're going to have it in August. And we, we've set up the arrangements. We start to put down the down payments. Now it's going to be May 29th. So that's the third date. Now he wants to get married on April 29th. This is four days away. I have put down all of the down payments. I have put, I have put up with Aunt Lee, and now I, I am just put out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mr. Staten, what's going on? Why are you changing dates, and what's happening? Your Honor, she's canceled the wedding, and I'm just trying to do everything and make it perfect for her. If one thing is a little bit wrong, um, she's packed up my stuff. What do you mean she's packed up she's your packed stuff? My, Your Honor, I come home from a long day of work, I walked in my house. She has my Alexa playing Beyonce's to the left. All my boxes are packed up, and she's to the left. You kidding me? I heard... Wait, you have evidence of this? I have submitted um, evidence of this. Let honor. me see the evidence. Oh, 
my word. Wow. Your Honor, those are my clothes. Those are my boxes. Yes. Your Honor. And, and this is all that is left of his stuff. And once we leave here, you can take this with you. You don't even have to come back. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Your Honor. Wait one second. Excuse me. I need to be real clear. Yes, ma'am. Y'all aren't married yet, right? Y'all not tricking me. I just want to make sure y'all are not married yet. No, ma'am. No, right? No, no ma'am. Four days. And is this your house, sir? My house, Your Honor. My house. That you own? Yes, before she even came here, Your Honor. Before you met her? Yes, my house of several years. Yes. S excuse me, Miss Howard. How you gonna pack this man's stuff up in his house and tell him to the left? I just want to be real you, clear. How you gonna Your do Honor, that, man? I got nine nine problems, and she would not be one. Okay, I just want to be real clear, Miss <laughs> Howard. Yes, Your Honor. The one of the reasons I can be is because of how much money I have put into this house you and into Antley. I brought him out of everything. Fortunately for him during the pandemic was put on hold, but every bill was also behind and due. I have come in. I have paid bills. I have paid notices. I have brought everything current. Can you show me the evidence? Did you submit it to the court that you have put money into his house? I did not bring receipts or evidence of that with me, Your Honor. Miss Howard, I'm gonna tell you something. As a lawyer, you are not married to this man. This house belonged to him before he met you. I don't Thank care you. what state y'all are in. That is his house. Thank you, Your Honor. You tell don't judge. own nah deed, nah lease, tell nah him. nothing. Mm. And you can't make this man get out of his house. Praise the Lord. And before I listen to one other piece of evidence, you need to know if you don't play your cards right, Beyonce gonna be singing to you. I had picked out a cake, and it was within the budget that we had agreed on, Your so Honor. So what's the problem? But, well, the groom has ordered his own groom's cake. You got your so cake, you, I got mine. You can't uh, have your cake and eat it, too. Are y'all sharing the expenses for this wedding? He is putting on the expenses. I I'm the one who's making the payments. Mr. Staten, do you need help paying off your house? No, you're not. Not now. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Has Miss Howard paid your mortgage for you? No, ma'am. I have, when I met her, I had one job. I want to give her the perfect wedding. I went out and got three more jobs, Your Honor. I'm trying to make this the perfect wedding. Who goes to a wedding where the bride comes in a car? I, look, I, I mean, wanna... you can do your wedding any kind of way you want. It can be big, over the top, and extravagant, because yeah. Lord knows I likes all of that, okay? I'm with you, y'all. However, it can also be, let's go right down to the courthouse. I read right. recently that one of my favorite people, Simone Biles, just got married. Her new husband is an NFL player. They mm -hmm. both got plenty of money. Yeah. They decided to go down to the courthouse, put on some cute outfits, and get married. They happy than the clam. But That's Your Honor, them. May I ask a question? That Your is Honor? a good wedding for them. If that works for them, bless God. Ask a question. Did she ride on her car or did her husband pay for her to get in a limousine? You know what? Whichever <laughs> way, they could have rode on the back of a motorcycle because it was their wedding. Okay. I know folk, <clears throat> be pointed <laughs> myself, <laughs> that have had big weddings. Yes. Yes. I got married on a cruise ship, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a ball. Yes, you don't even want me to talk about the, another wedding, okay? Because it was really over the top. <laughs> oh, yes, so I'm about to tell yes. you. Yes. yes whatever Your kind Honor. of wedding you have is on you. Yes, ma'am. All right, yes, Your Honor. it's on you. Yes, sir. The yes, only you... thing is, can you afford it? Exactly. Yes. So I, I had picked out a cake, and it was a sensible cake, and it was within the budget that we had agreed on. Your so Honor. So what's the problem? So, so I come home and I find a receipt, you know, they send you the electronic receipt from the bakery, and I'm like, it's another $400. So I call them to say, what is this? And they're like,
like, oh, well, the groom has ordered his own groom's cake. Now, for heaven's sake, I, I have traveled with Antley. He is a fan of In the Heat of the Night. He loves to go down to Hollywood of the South in Covington, Georgia. He has designed this specialized cake that looks like the courthouse from In the Heat of the Night. Ms. Howard, and why you got a problem with the man having a groomsman cake? A groom I, I have honor. a problem with him authorizing all of this specialty and all of this cost without even consulting okay, Ms. me. Okay, Miss Howard, let me let me let me go to Mr. Staten. Your Honor, Mr. Staten, how are you wedding. supposed to pay for this cake? Your Honor, I know this is supposed to be all about the bride. No, it's not. A wedding is supposed to be about the couple. Thank you. You got your so, cake. I got mine. You can't uh, have your cake and eat it too. Your Honor. But Miss Howard, I want to be clear. Yes, ma'am. Are y'all sharing the expenses for this wedding? He is putting on the expenses. I I'm the one who's making the payments. <laughs> so Your you're Honor. telling me Mr. Staten is not carrying his weight financially on this wedding. Is that what you're trying to say? Now, be clear about what you're Very claiming. Very clear. Yes, Your Honor. You say he is not carrying his weight. So in other words, he is adding expenses to a wedding and he is not paying for them. Are you serious? For yes, Your Honor. I got and three, yes. three part-time jobs. I have really had it with Antley because I think he is cheating. Really? I come, yes, really. I find all of these pictures of him and this white lady on the wooden bridge. So they are off out in the woods gallivanting together. I don't know what else they were Mr. doing. Mr. Staten, what were you doing Your with Honor? the white lady on the wooden bridge? Your Honor, I didn't come too far from this. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Why are you marrying Miss Howard if y'all don't have just this basic stuff in well, line with each other, sir? Your Honor... She's trying to return her wedding dress. What? She's trying... I come home, the wedding dress is gone. I'm seeing a receipt for it. Well, she's trying to take it back, Your Honor. I done come too far for this. Four days away, I have a big family. They have, I already have already made reservation hotels. People are coming in from Mississippi, Atlanta, Georgia, everywhere for this wedding. Girl, and you four about, days to, away, wait, you about to, to break this it? man's heart and, and all of these black folk about to come in from all Thank, across well, the South? Your Honor, I have some white folks. I, too, and I, all I, these I, white <laughs> folk and black folk about to Thank come in. Your Honor. It's a rainbow. Your it's honor. a rainbow of people. All these <laughs> Benetton ad looking people about to come up in there. Say it, Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, you. yes, I, I returned the dress. It was over $800 and and it is entirely too hot. Right. I did you get an outfit, that, Your Honor, that is suitable and fine if we were to continue. But I, I have really had it with Antley because I think he is cheating. Really? I come, yes, really. You, I come home after also working 10-hour days, 14-hour days. I, I get in to, to, the, to the cut of the house, and I can hear him on the telephone. It is after 10 o'clock at night. There is no reason for him to be on the phone laughing and giggling with some female at that time. My grandmother has always said, at that time of night, there ain't nothing open but the hospital in legs. And he is wow. not behaving okay, like... Okay, Ms. Howard, it's 10 o'clock at night. Like it's not 2 like o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and there's lots of stuff that's still open at 10 o'clock at night, okay? <laughs> and let me be real clear. You yes. coming up with reasons. That's what's bothering me. You coming up with reasons. You don't want to marry him. You are in a situation where you thought you were gonna get a hookup and have a house that was gonna be yours and you were gonna put him out. That's not gonna happen. And if I were you, I would go right home, unpack them boxes and put my stuff back in my closet where I have the deed. That's Thank what you. I would do. Thank you, Your Honor. Listen, I've come too far. I, I, I don't know tired. why you want to marry Miss Howard, because Miss Howard don't want to marry you. I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. You've true. been waiting 48 years. Thank you. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Miss Staten. You, you sound like a nice man. <laughs> but there is a lady that wants to marry you, wants you to have your groom's cake that's in the shape of the courthouse, wants you to have a limo with all the people from Mississippi and Alabama, the white ones and the black ones. They want everything that you want. Yes, Your Honor. And that's the person that you wait for. Yes. You don't need to be 
with somebody that don't want to be with you. Miss Howard, Your you don't want to be with him. Your Honor, I do want to be. I love Aunt Lee. But there's there quick is, complaining. There is, Thank there, you. There there quit is, complaining. <laughs> quit complaining. You 50-something years old. Where do you think the grass is greener? This is a nice man. This is a nice man that want to do something nice he for is you. A, he is a nice man, and he is nice to a whole bunch of other people do as well. Do you really believe They're... that Mr. Staden is actually out there cheating? This is yes, a man Your who Honor. likes yes. uh, in the heat of the night. Yes, he is going to conferences. He, and, he, and he likes it so much that he is out with this other woman over on the wooden bridge. Oh, now, Lord. there is... I, I have been no to sense. Covington, Georgia with him. We have toured the square. Uh, there was one event that he went to that I could not get off from work for. I find all of these <laughs> pictures of him and this white lady on the wooden bridge. So they are off out in the woods gallivanting together. I don't know what else they were doing. Mr. Staten, what were you doing Your with Honor? the white lady on the wooden bridge? <laughs> Your Honor, I'm on the administrator on the Facebook page. Yes. It's the Heat of Night fan page. And I have millions of fans on there. They know when I'm coming. They'll call me, Mr. Staten, you down there? Yeah, look, I want to see everything you want to know. I want to see everything you done seen. I want to go to the bridge. I will take them to the bridge. It's a famous bridge. If she watched the show sometime, you might Mr. find Staten, yourself up under that bridge. Who anyway, is the white lady that you were on the bridge with? She called me up, Your Honor. Mr. State, I see you on Facebook Live right now. I see you weren't coming. Were you flirting with this lady? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Were you having any kind of inappropriate relationship no, Your Honor. with this lady? She said, Mr. Staten, can you please take she to the bridge? She called you Mr. Staten? Yeah, that's, how, that's my name on Facebook, Antley L. Staten. Ms. Howard, now let's be very clear. See, I'm obsessed with Law & Order, the way <laughs> he's obsessed with In the Heat of the Night. Yes, ma'am. I have seen every single episode... Yes. ...of Law & Order, 25 seasons. I'm obsessed. I love it. When I yeah. can't find anything to watch, I will always watch Law & Order. I can sing the song <laughs> and say the opening. I bet you to watch it a thousand times over and over again. <laughs> More than you can ever imagine. Heck, you I was on page, one Donna. of the episodes. Let's be yes, very clear. Same. I'm obsessed. Yes, Your Honor. If that's the worst that you could say about this man. What up? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. I have how many cases have we heard, Robert? Oof. The people in the strip club. Strip club, what People else? gambling. Mm -hmm. Lap dances. People got mm -hmm. lap dancing. Your people Honor. drinking too much. Your people Honor. verbally abusing them. This is a man whose worst, worst, worst thing he's done is met a fan from the in the heat of the night Facebook page. <laughs> Thank you. In the public. Yes. Your Honor, and I posted them on, him, the, on social media. Oh, Your Honor, exactly, y'all. If I was gonna cheat with a woman, would I put it on Facebook? On the phone. Miss Howard, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Yes, ma'am. If you want to be with this man, you will stop complaining about little, silly, <laughs> insignificant things. Thank you. Okay? Your Honor, I love him. Then but stop complaining! Thank but you. bankruptcy is not a little thing. What mm. bankruptcy? Now, What's you never up? brought up no bankruptcy. We are going to go bankrupt, spending money, putting off bills. Okay, you are anticipating a bankruptcy? I, I am anticipating because Antley will say, okay, we'll put this down and then we'll pay it later. But I'm the one who always ends up having to pay. And I... I am just afraid that it is going to so, go... So, Your Honor, if she participate me going bankrupt, but, Your Honor, after this wedding, I'm gonna go get four more jobs to keep her happy if she stays with me, Your Honor. Listen, Mr. Staten, look at me. Nothing you do will ever make her happy. I'm beginning to see that, Your Honor. No, you need to see it. You don't need to begin to see it. You <laughs> need to see it right now. I don't even because see let me be very clear with you. Unless you plan to live through this again and again and again and again, you might need to throw a party with that courthouse cake and then people that's coming from Alabama and Mississippi, the white ones and the black ones, and skip the wedding. Because, Miss Howard, you gonna need that bag because your stuff might be the one getting packed. Mm. You gonna pack the bag and get home because I ain't going nowhere. My, these are my poles. My yeah. house, and we unpacking this when I get home. Robert, the complaint department was open for service with this woman. But she had most of the freaking complaints. Exactly, but for no reason whatsoever. This is a nice man. Absolutely. Ooh, he may have dodged a bullet if she don't want to marry him. Wouldn't be the perfect scheme to get married first, then take the house? Ooh. Y'all better listen to Robert. 
Made in Georgia.